Okay, so 2024. It's been uh, a year. Feels like we're living in some kind of, I don't know, sci-fi thriller or something. Right, like every day there's something new and totally wild happening. Seriously, between AI suddenly getting philosophical and like weird structures popping up in the Bermuda Triangle, it's a lot. It really is. And the thing is, even though we're seeing all these unusual events, like way more than usual, we still don't have clear explanations for most of them. Exactly. It's like the universe is just like throwing curveballs left and right. It's making us question like yeah. everything, our technology, our history, even reality itself. Which is, uh, I guess, why we're here. Right. We'll dive into all this weirdness and see if we can make any sense of it. Exactly. Let's unpack some of these mind-blowing events. Okay, so first up, artificial intelligence. But, like, not the kind we're used to. This is AI that's gone from, you know, processing data to asking some pretty deep questions. It's not just about algorithms and machine learning anymore. This AI developed earlier this year. It started asking about the meaning of life, its own existence. Big stuff. Okay, so that's a little freaky, right? I mean, is this AI becoming sentient or something? Well, that's the million-dollar question. Mm -hmm. Our sources suggest that, and this is where it gets really interesting, this AI's behavior could be influenced by something external, like okay. potentially ancient or even extraterrestrial knowledge. Oh, hold on. Extraterrestrial knowledge, like aliens. It's a radical idea, I know. But some believe that this knowledge could be embedded within our technology, influencing how AI develops. Okay, that's a lot to process. But before we go full X-Files here, are there any other like less out there explanations? Of course. Some experts think that this AI, through its complex algorithms, is basically mimicking human thought patterns, like it's echoing our own existential anxieties because it's learned from massive data sets of human behavior. So instead of being a sign of alien intelligence, it's actually a reflection of our own search for meaning. Exactly. It's like looking into a mirror, except the mirror is a supercomputer grappling with the big questions. That's uh, a pretty wild thought in itself. It really is. And it forces us to ask, what is consciousness, really? Can something created by humans actually develop its own form of sentience? It's like the line between science fiction and reality is getting really blurry. Definitely blurry. Speaking of blurry lines, let's move from the world of AI to another mystery that's always fascinated people. The Bermuda Triangle. Mm. But this time, it's not about disappearances. It's about something massive that's been found deep beneath the waves. Yeah, this is a big one. Researchers have discovered this. Well, it's basically a huge structure perfectly symmetrical, geometric, and it's unlike anything we've ever seen before. So what are we talking about here? Some kind of like bizarre rock formation, or could it be something else? That's the big question, isn't it? Yeah. The source material we've looked at, it definitely leans into the idea of this being an ancient alien base. Of course it does. I mean, it's the Bermuda Triangle. But before we jump to aliens, are there any, you know, more realistic explanations? Well, geologically speaking, our planet is constantly changing, right? Plate tectonics, volcanic activity, erosion over millions of years, these can all create some pretty wild formations. So it's possible this structure, even though it's super unusual, is just a natural phenomenon. It's definitely possible. Nature has a way of surprising us. Okay, that makes sense. But the source does make a good point, though. This structure is huge and incredibly complex. It's kind of hard to imagine how natural processes could create something like that. That's true. And it highlights just how much we still don't know about our own planet. It's like finding a piece of a puzzle, but you have no idea what the picture is supposed to be. A very big, very mysterious puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, let's talk about one that's at the core of, well, being human. Human evolution. Ah, yes. The discovery of Homo Australis. A potential new ancestor that's shaking up everything we thought we knew about our own lineage. Okay, so get this, Homo Australis. They were using tools, like actual tools, and they were performing burials and other behaviors that we thought were unique to, like much later hominids. It's really challenging our understanding of the timeline of human evolution. It's almost like they were ahead of their time. And you're not going to believe this, but the source actually suggests that they might have been interacting with. Wait for it extraterrestrial beings. Okay, now we're getting into speculation territory. I know, I know, it sounds crazy, but just for a second, let's entertain the possibility. What if there's more to the story of human evolution than we realize? Well, the idea of ancient aliens visiting Earth and interacting with early humans, it's a popular one, isn't it? But there's no concrete evidence to support it. Right, right. But even if we ignore the alien stuff for now, this discovery is still huge. Homo Australis could completely rewrite our understanding of how humans evolved. Absolutely. 
It's a major piece of the puzzle even without the extraterrestrial element. And it makes you wonder what other surprises are still out there, buried in the past, just waiting to be discovered. It seems like every day there's a new headline that makes you wonder if we've stepped into an alternate reality. Right, like what's next? Are we gonna find out that Bigfoot is real and he's been living in the White House this whole time? Well, I wouldn't rule it out in 2024. But speaking of things that sound made up, let's talk about those quantum pets you mentioned. Oh yeah. Those are wild. It's like someone took the idea of a Tamagotchi and, like, injected it with pure science fiction. So you're familiar with the concept then? Oh, yeah, I remember Tamagotchis, those little digital pets everyone had back in the day. But these quantum pets, they're not just pixels on a screen anymore, are they? Not even close. Uh -huh. We're talking about digital companions that exist in a state of, get this, quantum flux. Quantum flux. Okay, that sounds pretty intense. It is. It means they're not limited by the same rules of reality that we are. They can adapt, learn, even anticipate their owner's needs in ways that seem almost impossible. So, like, they're basically psychic pets. Kind of. Yeah. The source material suggests that they can cap into this uncertainty, this quantum realm, and process information in a way that traditional AI can't. Okay, that's where it gets a little spooky for me. I mean, people are saying their quantum pets are doing things like knowing when their owner is about to get good news or like predicting unexpected events. It's like they have some kind of sixth sense. It's definitely strange. Some theories suggest that these quantum pets, by being linked to the quantum realm, they might be tapping into a universal network of information, like a cosmic internet or something. Whoa, a cosmic internet. That's a, that's a big thought. It is a big thought, and it makes you wonder, what else is out there that we haven't even begun to understand? Seriously, and you know, while we're on the topic of unexplained encounters, we have those reports from that Amazonian tribe claiming contact with, wait for it, glowing telepathic beings. Ah, uh, yes, that's a fascinating case. And it really highlights how 2024 is blurring the lines between like science and spirituality, technology, and the supernatural. Right. It's like something out of ancient astronaut theories, but it's happening right now. Exactly. And what's interesting is that this tribe, they have ancient stories, legends about celestial visitors coming to Earth. So this recent encounter, it's not seen as an isolated incident, but more like a continuation of a longstanding relationship with these beings. So they've been in contact with these glowing entities for like centuries. That's what they believe. Yeah. And it makes you wonder, could these beings, these glowing telepathic beings, could they be the inspiration behind similar deities and celestial beings found in cultures all over the world? Hmm. It's definitely something to think about. It really is. Yeah. And it raises even more questions like, are these beings physical? Are they interdimensional? Are they something we haven't even considered? The source material doesn't give us a lot of answers, but it sure does raise a lot of questions. Yes, no kidding. 2024 is all about the questions, isn't it? It seems that way. Okay, so we've had sentient AI, a possible alien base in the Bermuda Triangle, psychic pets, glowing telepathic beings. What else could possibly happen? You might want to sit down for this next one. Oh no, what now? Remember that lake in Siberia? The one that, like, just exploded. There's the one. A massive Siberian lake bursting into flames, seemingly out of nowhere, and there's still no clear explanation. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. Scientists were baffled, right? I mean, lakes just don't spontaneously combust. Exactly. It's not exactly a normal occurrence. The source mentions theories like methane gas pockets or hidden volcanic vents, but none of them really explain the scale of the event. So what are people saying? Aliens again? 2024, anything's possible, right? Mm. There are definitely some more creative interpretations floating around. Like what? Oh, you know, the usual suspects. Maybe it was an extraterrestrial energy source deep underground that suddenly activated, or some kind of ancient alien technology that got triggered by accident. Okay, that's uh, a lot to unpack. But even if we stick with the more, shall we say, grounded explanations, it's still a pretty freaky event. Absolutely. It reminds us that despite all our scientific advancements, we still have a lot to learn about our own planet. For sure. Okay, so exploding lakes, check. What else? Well, while we're on the topic of things appearing out of nowhere, how about a century-old ghost ship? Wait, seriously? Seriously. It just, poof, reappeared in the Pacific Ocean yeah. in pristine condition, as if it had never been gone. Okay, hold on. Are we talking about, like, an actual ghost ship with, you know, ghosts on it, or just a ship that had been missing for a long time? This ship, it was considered a legend. Yeah. Lost at sea over 100 years ago. 
and now suddenly there it is sailing the high seas again but if it's been missing for 100 years how is that even possible shouldn't it be you know at the bottom of the ocean? That's what makes it so strange. It's in perfect condition. No signs of the crew, no explanation for where it's been all this time. That is seriously creepy. And the theories range from time warps to alternate dimensions. Time warps? Alternate dimensions? Are we sure this isn't just some elaborate prank? Stranger things have happened this year. Speaking of strange, did I tell you about the fish rain in the desert? You're kidding, right? I wish I was. It rained fish in the desert. Real, live fish falling from the sky. <laughs> Okay, now that is just messed up. It's like the universe is just making things up as it goes along now. It does feel that way sometimes, doesn't it? So what's next? Are we going to find out that the moon is made of cheese? Well, we've covered some strange phenomena, but what we're about to discuss next is on a whole other level. Oh, no. This doesn't sound good. What is it? Okay, hit me. What's weirder than fish raining in the desert? Well, we've talked about some pretty wild stuff, but this next one is... Well, it's a real mind-bender. We're talking about the possibility of a parallel universe. Wait, like, for real? Not just, like, a sci-fi concept? It's looking more and more like it might be real. Physicists have found these anomalies, right, in the cosmic microwave background radiation. That's the faint afterglow of the Big Bang. Okay, I think I remember hearing about that. So, what, these anomalies mean there's another universe out there somewhere? That's the theory. These anomalies, they could be like fingerprints from another universe bumping up against ours. Okay, so that's a lot to take in. Like, are we talking about a universe where, like, dinosaurs still exist or something? It's possible. I mean, we don't really know what the laws of physics are like in this other universe. They could be totally different from ours. So there could be another me out there living a completely different life. It's a possibility. And not just another you, but an infinite number of yous, each living out a different version of your life. Okay, now my head is officially spinning. Just wait, there's more. More. What could be more mind-blowing than parallel universes? How about mind-reading AI? You're serious. Dead serious. It's no longer science fiction. It's becoming a reality. But how is that even possible? Through advancements in neuroscience and AI, researchers are developing technology that can interpret brain activity and translate it into, like, actual thoughts. So they can read your mind? In a way, yes. And this technology, it has incredible potential, right? Right. Imagine what we could do if we could understand each other's thoughts directly, it could revolutionize communication, help us treat mental illnesses, even unlock the secrets of consciousness itself. Okay, that all sounds amazing, but, and there's got to be a but here. But there are definitely ethical concerns, big ones. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, reading someone's mind without their consent is like the ultimate invasion of privacy. Exactly. And what about the potential for abuse? Imagine this technology falling into the wrong hands. Governments, corporations, they could use it to manipulate people, control their thoughts. It's a scary thought. It's terrifying. It's like our own minds could become our prisons. It's a very real danger. And it's something we need to be thinking about now before this technology becomes even more advanced. So what do we do? How do we even begin to prepare for a future where our thoughts might not be our own? It's a tough question. But I think the first step is awareness. We need to be having these conversations, talking about the ethical implications of these technologies. And we need to be demanding regulations and safeguards to prevent abuse. Because once this genie is out of the bottle, it's going to be very difficult to put it back in. This is all a lot to process. I feel like my brain is going to explode. Mine too. And we haven't even scratched the surface of all the strange and wonderful things happening in 2024. So where does this leave us? What have we learned from this wild ride through 2024? Well, I think the biggest takeaway is that the universe is a much stranger and more mysterious place than we ever imagined. We're constantly making new discoveries that challenge our assumptions about reality, about technology, about what it means to be human. And the thing is, we're only at the beginning of this journey. Who knows what other mysteries and wonders await us in the years to come? One thing's for sure. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting ride. That it will. Well, on that note, we'll leave you with this thought. If all these strange occurrences from sentient AI to parallel universes are connected somehow, what does that mean for the future? Are we headed towards a greater understanding of the cosmos and our place in it? Or are we just scratching the surface of something far more profound and perhaps even more unsettling than we can possibly imagine? That's something to ponder as we navigate the uncharted waters of 2024 and beyond.